For long, the blockading countries have accused Qatar of financing terrorism. Now the state of Qatar is the first country to sign this memorandum of understanding with the United States. We invite the other blockading countries to join signing this understanding. Well, thank you very much, Your Excellency, and thank you for welcoming us to Doha today. And we also appreciated the time His Highness the Emir afforded us for a very good uh, discussion upon our arrival as well. The agreement in which we both have signed on behalf of our governments represents weeks of intensive discussions between experts and reinvigorates the spirit of the Riyadh summit. The memorandum lays out a series of steps the two countries will take over the coming months and years to interrupt and disable terror financing flows and intensify counterterrorism activities globally. The United States and Qatar will do more to track down funding sources, will do more to collaborate and share information, and will do more to keep the region and our homeland safe. What's your response to leaking the agreement of Riyadh and the timing of it? If this leaking reflects anything, it only reflects the the approach by the blockading countries, similarly to what they did when they leaked the list of demands. This brings into question the level of trust in these countries in international relations. Usually, c commercial companies show respect for these agreements, let alone respected countries and states. A couple of days ago, the discussion about what was happening in the Gulf uh, was framed by the U.S. side as something that could take months to resolve. Does what happened today now sort of revise your time frame? So what I think uh, you're seeing, the culmination today, is really of this reinvigoration of our talks as a result of the Riyadh summit and President uh, Trump's very strong call. Uh, and Qatar, I think, has taken uh, the initiative to move out on things that had been discussed but had not been brought to a conclusion. Uh, my role here is to support the efforts of the Emir of Kuwait and the Kuwaiti mediator to bring what we can to uh, the discussions to help both sides more fully understand the concerns of the relative parties and also point out possible solutions to those. So I would not want to comment on any expectation uh, for a timetable at this point because these are discussions that are still ongoing. Uh, it's, it's a separate and uh, uh, bilateral agreement between uh, Qatar and the United States, which has been uh, underway and in discussion for uh, four weeks now. And uh, it has nothing re related directly to or indirectly to the uh, recent uh, crisis and, and the blockade which is imposed against Qatar. And uh, also, we, we, sup we support uh, the role which is carried out by the Kuwaiti mediator and supported by the United States, and we have been very much uh, uh, positive and forthcoming in engaging in a constructive dialogue which will result for a solution which, is, uh, uh, has, which has been the behavior of the state of Qatar from the beginning of, uh, of this crisis, and we hope that uh, the blockading country behave in the same manner.